sand, bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda and today I'm going to do a really quick video to show you how you can organize your paper scraps by making some DIY ephemera. All right, let's go. A lot of noise in the background. I apologize. There's just a lot going in, on in my house right now. But all I did, and this is some uh, paper scraps before I started cutting and making the ephemera with them. But you can just use any of your paper scraps. And I'll show you kind of what I did with some of them. So like this um, used to be, oh, I don't even know. It was a scrap from something. And so um, I just took and cut these little pieces were part of this paper. So you see this little 10 cent thing, it's a really vintage look. Well, it was part of all the paper that this scrap came from. And I just cut all of the little 10 cent pieces out and I just used my scissors. So I just used some regular scissors like this. Oops, I dropped it. And I just cut around the corners just really easily. I just, you know, just cut around the corner. I didn't worry about it being exact. I cut the 10 cent out, like I said, and there's a piece of ephemera right there. All right, oh, now you're hearing a shredder. <laughs> Again, there's just a lot going on in my house right now. So, um, and I'll just put all the little pieces. So this one was half. I didn't worry about if it was a complete piece. I just, you, you know, just took all of it and made some ephemera out of it. So there, and I'll just kind of put the different pieces over to the side as I pull them out for you guys. So this um, is what I think might be left. Nope, I got some more. Oh, um, I had some pineapple craft paper, and after I make my uh, Lucinda Dory planners, traveler's notebook, craft folders for different sizes, this is kind of what I have left in the corner, and so um, I cut out some ephemera for this. So for this size, I'll show you what I had from that, and let me find you a piece. So like here, here's some of those. So look, I just fussy cut it around it and it really came out awesome. So there's one like that. I even if it had only half or, you know, an angle, I kept that. So we'll put all these right here. And let's see, I even kept and cut out the little, uh, whatever you call this, the part of the plant that you pull off of the, the pineapple tree. So I've got all of those. And then I also, uh, you can see where there's these round circles in here. So for that is where I use my big hole puncher. So I just use this and I punched holes. And so um, then I got these pieces like this. Okay. So we'll just stick those there. And um, there's a few more. So this one is almost a complete one. I really love it. And I still even like this one like that so some more little heads there okay and then let's see this i think i just had well i had a piece like this that was a paper scrap and then i kind of had some little long pieces too and i think i cut some different sections out of that yes yeah, so i'll show you how this turned out so here's some uh circles there and I think I was able to get two circles out of that if I can find the other piece in here somewhere, yes. So there's the other circle that I got out of that. But then I also had some, you know, little vertical pieces. So I just, I just cut around these corners for this as well and, um, and made those sizes. And so see here is another little piece. And I'll pull some more of those out as I get to them as well. So these, let's see, these I think I cut all round pieces out. So this scrap paper here, so I'll show you those. This one isn't completely round, but that's okay because you can layer those pieces. So here's another one. And I think that's all I got out of that. I'm going to put some more little pineapple pieces over here as I find those. Okay, now this scrap paper... I did some round ones, so I'll show you that. And I got quite a quite a bit, I think, of this scrap paper. Um, that might be all I had. I thought I had more than that. Hmm. Okay, so this scrap paper, I did some round pieces. Um, I may have only did one round piece, okay? And then I cut out a bunch of these light bulbs. <laughs> so uh, they're all different sizes. So there's some. 
Oh gosh, I have tons of these. So, cause they're all different neat little sizes and I just think it's, you know, it all will work. Um, okay, and I'm sure I'm gonna pull out some more of those as we go along. Probably have a few more that I'll pop over there, okay? And then, um, let's see, this paper, which I really, really love. I cut out a lot of cameras <laughs> out of this scrap paper here. Okay, so I'll show you some of those. So I did a few round pieces, or maybe just one round piece, okay. Um, and I did lots of cameras, lots and lots of cameras, which I just love these. I love this scrap paper. This came from scrap this and this, um, and maybe the maybe all of these except for the one in the middle may have all come from the same scrap pack that I got from Michaels, and um, that I made a bunch of craft folders out of. There's another one of that one, but all of these pieces came from this. So see that says favorite. I cut that out. Um, lovely. That came out of there. Okay, and even I even have some little corners somewhere over here. Um, Oh, here's fun and huh, I think I have a couple more I for sure have that one <laughs> which is not a whole camera but that's okay like I said you can layer layer it that's not a whole camera there okay and then I had um, let's see I don't think I've actually used haven't cut anything out of this paper yet let's see I did cut something out of this paper um, and I didn't mean to throw it back in that bin over there. Let me move that back. Okay, so and out of that I just cut some. Now on this I actually used my corner rounder, which gosh, I'm not sure where I put it right now, but I actually used my corner rounder to cut around this. And um, and so let's see how many pieces that I do out of that little corner of paper. Not sure, huh, that might have been the only one. It was a little small piece of paper. And I no longer have the, any parts of this except for teeny tiny. This used to be some paper. I have very little of it left um, that has like some faux writing on it. And I use my corner rounder. This is really thick linen, linen paper. So the corner rounder wouldn't go all the way through. So I just had to trim it for that. And like I wanted to point out, when you cut around pieces like this, I just fussy cutted it. You know, just didn't make sure it went inside of any of the indentions or anything. I just cut around it. Um, this came, I think, from the, um, hmm, no, this came from this paper. So this paper, I cut out the word adventure, and I cut out some um, circle pieces. Let's see. May have only had one circle piece. Okay. And then this I, uh, paper, I cut out a circle piece. I think that's all I had. Let me see if I can squeeze that in here. And then this paper, I had, um, I cut out some circle pieces and some other little rectangular pieces that um, I either used the corner rounder or I just kind of cut around the corners myself. So that and, um, and a round piece. So I've got multiple little pieces from this, different shapes and sizes. There's another round piece. And then I had um, this paper, and I think I just did a couple of pieces. So I did a round piece, and I did some fussy cutting pieces. Um, move you guys. So here's some fussy cutting pieces, including some leaves, which is really fun to do. And let's see, I think we just got a few more pieces I'll stick in here. So I showed you this paper, and I think I showed you all the little pieces. Yeah, I showed you this paper, all of the paper that I used for all the remaining pieces. So I got um, almost a whole circle out of that. And here's another piece of a camera, another light bulb, another 10 cent piece. Another camera, 10 cent piece, and piece of a camera, piece of a light bulb. There's a little piece of the pineapple and another piece of a light bulb. Oh, some more right here. So this actually came out of that same paper too. 
and see and so I got all of these pieces of ephemera out of just those few out of these you know this little stack here of paper scraps all right guys I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you'll find it beneficial what I've decided to do is maybe spend you know maybe decide okay before I go to the bathroom every time I'll cut out three pieces of ephemera until I kind of get through the paper scraps that I want to use all right you guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I want to remind all of my subscribers that you get a special discount from my Lucinda Dory planners Etsy shop whenever um, you subscribe to me in the current discount for the month of May for 2017 is in the comments below and until next time everyone happy planning